for Kenny Goldsmith. The best art is when the artist is truthful and honest to themselves and to their audience. Art is when a person chooses a project, a chore, or a form of self-expression that is executed in such a way that displays a personal sincerity. Because I am an artist, I can actually see and feel my hands not responding as normal hands. <laughs> I believe I am dissolute because I am an artist and the pain of truth is too difficult to bear sober. Greatness is in me, like peanuts in a payday bar. <laughs> One thing that does still manage to get under my skin a teensy bit is when people assume that cute paintings with big-eyed girls are just a trend. <laughs> I am an artist trying to learn to sing. I will never sing like Chaka Khan, unfortunately. Art is when a human tells another human what it is to be human. You are just an ordinary mortal. I'm Mistress Honey, and I want to express my virtuous, dominant affection. I love being virtuous, dominant, confident, assertive, and strong-willed here on Earth. She twirled around the room dizzily, all because I am an artist. Tortilla art is when tortillas are used as a canvas. <laughs> Coin art is when you draw on any change you have. For example, you might give Lincoln a top hat and a long beard, or you might turn Washington into Elvis Presley. Harem art equals seraglio art, redrawn into a smaller, more cartoony shape. Art is when somebody at a nursery sticks sand onto a piece of brown paper or macaroni. Latte art is when you have fun making your latte. <laughs> Decorative art is when the stork brings a garland instead of a rectangle. Hey, since when is sticking shit into bras art? I think I speak for the guys here when I say, Dude, where the fuck are the hot bitches with the big old titties that model these here bras? <laughs> I bet a guy would find it more interesting if he were glued to the inside of my bra. I think this thread needs some ASCII boobs. <laughs> Real art is when Trader Kami Ho went to Beijing, then lick and suck the cocks of Mao and Chu Anlai. <laughs> the beauty of this art is when you wake up, you have a soft frame around your eyes. This is a collection of balls. Some of the balls are blind, and the others can see because they have eyes. This is a girl dancing on a dance part. Around her are balloons. She is wearing a cherry dress. I made this picture because I am an artist. Do you think you are Picasso, Liberace, Pavarotti, Martha Graham, or Walt Whitman? Imagine asking Picasso, who do you think you are, Picasso? I think I am Picasso. And Rembrandt. And Hitler. And Joyce Brothers. And the Smoothers Brothers. And Bloody and the fucking Merman. What I love most about art is when I have created results that strike the inner musical chord within a person. I may be in a silly outfit, but as soon as you finish painting this picture, I will soak cities in blood because I am an artist and red is my favorite color. <laughs> I love men. I wrote the meanest, silliest thing below about men. I'm so sorry. Please ignore. Anyway, here's why I love men. They are brave. I love men's thighs, their hands, 
the small of their necks. I love men, but more than the physicality of it all, I love that men are freaks, born. I love men, I, and that's why it bothers me. No, no, infuriates would be a better word. I love men for their strength. Sometimes it is that vein that bulges on the upper part. I love men for the way they give up everything but themselves for love. <laughs> I love men with big penis. And I love men's hair. Everything about men's hair is a wonder to me. I love men who come to me once every two months with thick, dark hair in their nostril. I love men. I love mean ones and nice ones and fat ones and skinny ones. But most of all, I love super or hot ones. The sensation of poo in my mouth. I love to hang out with my friends, go to parties. I like a lot of sequence of clothing. I love men with good personality. I love men in cycling shorts. I love men in kilts. I love men with long legs. I love men who are pigeon-toed. I just love men. I love stripping men naked with just my eyes. It's something I want all the time now. And I mean all the time. I love men who are slightly cocky and arrogant. Something sexy there. <laughs> Urgh, I love men with top hats and beautifully tailored tuxedos and immaculately polished shoes. I love men in uniform. I love firemen. I love turbans. I love men in turbans. I love men who wear fishnet and skirts. It's just downright sexy. I love men staring from buses in the next lane. Sometimes my boyfriend will make me go out in a miniskirt without panties to go on an escalator. I love men in boots. That's a whole lot of boots. I love men, but they wear me out with all their confusing issues. One day they say they love you, and the next day they see someone with a bigger ass. I love men, muscles, sex, porn, and chocolate. I love men on Prozac. I love men on Prozac with their calm, James Dean smiles and dreamy novelist eyes. <laughs> of course I love men of all races, but I have to admit I am completely fascinated by Asian men. Japanese, Chinese, Korean, I love it all. I love men. They're energetic, great at fetching, and I love them. <laughs> Darlings, I love men, especially when they are silent beautiful and have no panties. I love wieners and jewels. I love men, money, power, and I love my sex. Me and my sex. I love my sex. Only me and my sex. La, 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 la. <laughs> I love men, even though they're lying, cheating scumbags. I love men, not for what unites them, but for what divides them. And I want to know, most of all, what gnaws at their hearts. I love men. 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 I love men.